us were lucky enough to get a, have an airplane when we completed crew training and had the fortunate luck of being able to fly overseas. Others, the airplanes were not available, had to take boats to Italy, and I was fortunate enough to fly uh, my own airplane, and my airplane was in Hamilton Field, California, brand new lib that I picked up, and I knew definitely if I was Hamilton Field, I was going to be Pacific. There's no way an airplane on the West Coast is going to Europe. The day my crew arrived, General Hap Arnold arrived at Hamilton Field on either an inspection or he was going through there somewhere, and he asked the wing commander, base commander, what are all those B-24s parked over there? He said, sir, they, those airplanes are going to, to the Far East bases. He says, like hell they are, they are going to Italy. I was the first of a, in that order that was executed. They threw me out of Hamilton with my airplane heading to Italy the next day. <laughs> I flew that airplane through Amarillo, Texas, up to Grenier, New Hampshire, Grenier, New Hampshire, uh, uh, when uh, Grenier, Newfoundland, I don't know if I get my names wrong here, but anyway, uh, from Newfoundland to the Azor Islands, from the Azor Islands, uh, over Marrakech, Marrakech, North Africa, and from Marrakech, we flew on in to the uh, airport of Joya. Joya was the initial base of the 464th in Italy. After the army moved the Germans out of there, the ground forces arrived and started piling dirt, making level surface, and laying pierced steel matting. Pierced steel mat was designed by some genius somewhere. It's a long sheet of structural steel that has holes driven or in, 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 in the matting all holes of the steel mat it is knit together for, with latches that were very simple to, to lay. Get the flat surface, throw those things out, knit them up, and they seal lock in. They could throw a mat down oh, very, very quickly after they level the ground and all the airports that we flew out of were basically pierced steel mat runways. The runways were 150 feet wide and 5,000 feet long. Now, that may sound like a pretty good runway, and, but for me, I was used to landing on 200 foot wide runways, 8 to 12,000 feet long, and 5,000. That was not who that. Anyway, I'll get in my, my approach into Panella when I, or Joya, when I arrived in Joya. I make a big pass over the airport and get clearance to land, and I line up the land into the wind, and I'm coming on down, and I'm all, all of a sudden, where in the hell is the runway? In the spirit, and I poured the four throttles forward, went around, and said, holy shit. I it was a crosswind, and that little 150 foot wide runway disappeared too quick for old slow George. So anyway, I come on and make another approach, and there's a boy, Bill, Bill O'Pears was my co-pilot. I said, Bill, oh, damn it, I gotta do better than that. So anyway, <laughs> I, I come in the second time, and I got my crab right, kicked it all right, and so luckily it, it planted right on the middle of the runway. And all the racket that that pinch steel plank made, what the hell is that? <laughs> Riding on nice smooth concrete. What is this all about? But anyway, from that point on, I knew what the pinch steel mat was, but people have asked, what's the surface of the run? Pinch steel mat. Occasionally, one of those lock-in devices might come loose and tear up the wheel or the tire of it. And we had airplane accidents based on the pure steel matting coming dislodged from the runway, but no, I had no ever no problem ever with the pure steel. I had many, many problems though 
with the 5,000 feet. 5,000 feet, I'm not seven, 10 or 12. You know, with 5,000, with a heavily loaded B-24, with max bomb load, we used every inch of that Mavic before we could get a lift off. And that, so anyway, uh, Joya was a staging base. The airplanes would arrive in Joya, and then they were factory airplanes, and then they were put into a bomber mode. They were painted with the group numbers, with the squadron lettering, everything was done in Joya. I never saw the airplane I delivered to Joya ever again. I don't know where it went. I have no idea. Uh, I have nothing, nothing on that. But the one thing that I mentioned to uh, some of my friends, that while I was flying the airplane to Italy, I was walking through the airplane and looking at the records, I found one record, very clear, that the bill of lading, the airplane was built at the Willow Run plant here, right where we are, built here. And on one of the bulkheads in the back aft section, there's a stencil note, God bless the crew that flies this airplane. Boy, that was touching. And I showed that to my crew, and as I remembered that, and maybe I'm standing here, maybe a little bit because of that blessing. It would be nice if I could find the lady who wrote, who stenciled the note. She probably did it on many of the aircraft, but on my aircraft, that note was there. So I really appreciate it.